You know, our next guest from two Captain America movies and one very big Marvel TV show. She plays Sharon Carter on The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. New episodes air Fridays on Disney+. Plus. Please welcome Emily Van Camp. Hi, Emily. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. And where are you right now? I'm in Atlanta at the moment. You're in Atlanta. Are you there shooting? Everybody shoots everything in Atlanta, don't they? Everything's in Atlanta. It's like a mini Hollywood. Yes, I'm here for a few more weeks. You're there for, what are you working on out there right now? So currently the resident, but I was doing Falcon Winter Soldier out here. So it's just been kind of my home base for a little while. I see, uh, the Fox show, the yeah. resident. Uh, and are you, you are not the resident. Are you, you are uh, a nurse practitioner on that show. I am indeed, yeah. yes. And you, I ass <laughs> assume you could probably, you know, if you think about it, I don't know if you've been vaccinated yet, but you could probably dress up in your costume from the show and pretend to be a health worker, right? I mean. Sure, I could. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I'd want to do that. Um, yeah. I don't know that, you know, people would like me to do that, but yeah, yeah. I, mean, I suppose. I mean, I'm sure I could, you know, pass out some jabs here and there, you know. Oh, do you think you, so when you feel now that you are, <laughs> are, you're, are you able, like you feel like you would be able to give somebody a uh, vaccination properly? Look, I'm not gonna try, but, mm -hmm. I probably could. Where you would you put it? Too. Where in your body would would you put <laughs> I'd it? I'd go arm. I'd go arm. Well, arm, yeah, but there's a part oh. of the arm where it's supposed to go. Do you know what it is? Well, right here. Yeah, that's right, the deltoid. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> why am I trusting you? You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I got it, so I know where it goes. At least that's where they put it in me. Um, <laughs> You are, uh, you play Sharon Carter, uh, Agent 13, uh, former Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., and that's cool. It is, it's really, I mean, it would be just great to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but you don't have powers, at least not yet. <laughs> and is that kind of a bummer when you're surrounded by people with powers? I mean, look, that that's part of who I signed up to play. Sharon doesn't have powers. I mean, it was it's great until it comes to the fight sequences, you know. Um, and then, you know, and then they start stripping away your weapons. So, you know, I don't have a you know shield or a you know steel arm or you know I can't fly. So, um, it was interesting as we were doing and, and learning these fight sequences. They they wanted less and less weapons, so it just became <laughs> a lot of you know, bloody, you know, hand on hand combat. Um, so. <laughs> and you picking up a shoe and hitting <laughs> somebody with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think in this circumstance, it was a, a pole that she finds at this shipyard. Um, so, you know, lots of, lots of bruises, lots of bloody knuckles, but it was all good fun. So are there, you get real bruises and bloody knuckles or are these made up? bruises and bloody No, up. no, they were real. I think one of the first takes I bloodied up my knuckles just because we hadn't anticipated the the, the gravel on the ground. And it was just one of those things that happens, not anyone's fault. Um, well, it's definitely yeah, somebody's and fault. Like... <laughs> and we're gonna get to the bottom of whose fault it was. You can't be, Nobody's there's no fault. surprise Best gravel. I mean, gravel is gravel. <laughs> just, it was like hand positioning. But anyway, yeah, I remember I was like, sending photo photos of my bloody knuckles to my family. And it, they're just so used to this stuff now. I think it just, you know, got lost in the mix of a bunch of baby photos and, you know, nieces and nephews. I mean, no one even comments. On Is it. that right? Like, oh, yeah, another day at work for Emily. Wait a minute, you texted yeah, no, your relatives. Terrible. You said, look at how bloody my <laughs> hand is. And everybody's like, oh, who cares? Look at yes, look Christina. At the kids. Yeah. But I mean, it's just, you know, another day at work. They, yeah. they know that I'm, that they're just used to this stuff. It's kind of great. I, yeah, I guess they must be. It sounds to me like you might need to rattle their cages. They're asking gravel. me to give them their, their shots, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Right, you do say. You're like, what can we get out of this? <laughs> Whatever they want, don't do it. Your family lives in uh, Canada. What part of Canada are, are, are you from? I'm from near Toronto, East You're Coast. You're from near Toronto. Well, uh, yeah. we've done this a couple of times before, and I always love it because <laughs> I have a lot of Canadian friends, and uh, my friends, at least, I don't know if we can extend this to everyone there, are very proud of Canadian achievements. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Are you, yes, would you are. consider yourself to be one of those people? Definitely. Okay. Um, you know, I've been living in the United States for a very long time. So, you know, I try to hold on to my Me dreams. too. Same here. I have a list of <laughs> items here, and I would like you to tell me if they originated in your native country or not. It's time to play Is It Canadian? Okay? And I'm going to begin with a 
A Marvel-related question. Wolverine. Is Wolverine Canadian? No. Ooh, that is incorrect. Wolverine <laughs> is Canadian. In wow, fact, and you Wolverine, put the hockey sticks up and everything. He was oh, billed no. as the first Canadian <laughs> superhero by Marvel and uh, a member Very of the X-Men. All right, let's see if we can do better with Starting this terribly. one. terribly. The Wonder Bra. Is the Wonder Bra a Canadian product? That's so random. Um, yes, it is. I will say no. You are incorrect again. It okay, is. Okay, now I'm just going to say yes to everything. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, I'm learning something. <laughs> yes, the Wonder Bra was developed by a company called the Canadian Lady Corset Company. All right, next. Oh, okay. Ice hockey, your Great. national passion. Is ice hockey Canadian? So I'm pretty sure I know that it did not originate in Canada. So many people say. I like to believe it did, but anyway, you, you tell me what your official answer is. You tell me what your official answer is. <laughs> it's, I, I'll say it didn't originate in Canada. That is correct, it did not. It originated uh, in it England. It pains me to say it. <laughs> According to what we are told, so. And you know what's terrible about that is my hu husband is English. Well, and not for him. he to claim it, but he can't. It's not bad for him, <laughs> he can claim it now, it's his. All right. <laughs> Two more questions. The board game Trivial Pursuit is a Canadian. Oh. Um. Yes. Yes is the correct answer. It is. <laughs> this is a great story. In 1979, two Canadian journalists kept losing their Scrabble tiles, and that led them to invent a game called Trivial Pursuit. Well, I don't know how one led to the <laughs> That's other. That's very but... Canadian. <laughs> And Probably lastly, while drinking beer and, you know. <laughs> this is something you should definitely know. Van Camp's baked beans, are they Canadian? Emily? No. They no. are not Canadian. <laughs> they are an American <laughs> product. So congratulations. You did Didn't pretty well there. I think you got more right than you got wrong. So congratulations. And thanks for playing <laughs> Is It Canadian? Yes. Thank you. We covered a lot here, Emily. <laughs> New episodes of The Falcon and The Winter Soldier are Fridays on Disney Plus. Emily Van Camp, everyone. Thanks, Emily. I'll be back with Zoe Lees. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.